A lot of you may already know by now, but in PSO2 New Genesis, you get a 10% bonus for main class weapons. This has been something we've known pretty much since the launch of PSO2 New Genesis after the closed beta when it was, you know, an actual, not really retail because, I mean, it's a free-to-play game, but it was, you know, the proper official release. And it's exactly that. You use your main class weapons, you get a 10% bonus. But the reason why I'm making this video is just to kind of put a bit more context towards that out there because even though this is kind of a standard thing a lot of us know by now, especially us veteran players or people that at least play it a little bit more serious than the person maybe picking up for an hour or two, there is a little bit of confusion in the community in regards to how that 10% bonus works. So I wanted to make this video just to clarify this and put it out there and have a video on my channel so that I could refer to it. So let's have a look at what I've got in my inventory and a few other things at the moment. So I tend to keep all my weapons in my inventory for all different classes so that if I do swap it about, I don't have to go and, you know, rummage around my storage. So at the moment, I'm playing Hunter and Ranger. I've got the Hunter weapons and I'm also using some Ranger weapons that I tend to be focusing on at the moment because my Hunter weapons aren't really upgraded that well. But here we go. Hunter is main. Ranger is subclass. I'm using Ranger subclass because it's what I tend to main and the weapons I'm very familiar with. And while you may see me on stream playing these other classes, maybe not using the ranger weapons, but then usually opting to use ranger weapons, I'm usually trying to practice those weapons and understand how they work, but I'll usually opt for ranger weapons because they're just more powerful on my character. So the hunter weapons here, my sword, my wide lance, and my partisan, I'm getting a 10% bonus to my damage, and it would be the same if I swap to gunner, I get a 10% bonus to the twin machine guns, and I would also get it for rifle, so on and so forth. That's pretty obvious. But any subclass weapons, any weapons that a subclass can use or brings to the table will not get that bonus. They don't get 10% less damage, they just don't get a bonus at all. My Resurger Rifle and my Glisten Launcher are upgraded pretty highly, so they are still pretty useful. However, if I was to actually upgrade my weapons for Hunter, I would absolutely be using those instead because I'd be getting basically the same kind of damage from them, but also with that 10% bonus added on top of it. There's another thing that people are really confused about right now, and that is multi-weapons. An example of what people are asking is, if I have got two Hunter weapons that are multi-weapons into one, will one of those not get the 10% bonus? And the answer to this is absolutely not. Because at the end of the day, they're both still Hunter weapons, so they're both going to get that 10% bonus, even if they are attached together as a multi-weapon. There's none of this, like, I've got my sword, which is my main multi-weapon part, and then I attach in a wired lance, and suddenly that's not getting 10% damage. That just doesn't even come to the table because they're both hunter weapons. They're both going to get that bonus. This goes for my ranger weapons if I was playing ranger as well. My resurger rifle is a rifle attached with a launcher. Those both still get the 10% bonus. However, if I was playing a ranger with a subclass as a tech or a force with this glisten launcher that has Talos attached, and yeah, Talos isn't going to get that 10% bonus. It's pretty simple, and I think people are just trying to overthink it because they're stressed that they're not going to be doing enough damage. Which brings me to the point I made earlier. Why the hell am I running around playing Hunter? And why the hell am I using weapons that aren't giving me a 10% bonus? And it goes back to what I was saying before. The Ranger weapons I have are pretty close to being maxed out. There are a few affixes I could upgrade on them, but at this point, I think they are above average in terms of the build of the weapons. So they are putting out some really good damage. And that's why I tend to be using them because my Hunter weapons just aren't upgraded to that level just yet, which means that even though those Hunter weapons will be giving me a 10% bonus until I upgrade them at the moment, my Ranger weapons are actually a little bit better than them. And that's demonstrated when I'm fighting these enemies at the moment. I'm going to switch between sword and also rifle. You can see rifle is doing upwards of like 300 attacks if I'm doing a dash attack or a charge attack. And I might actually demonstrate using the downward attack because that's probably a little bit better in terms of looking at that damage. So there we go, 200 damage from that enemy. We're going to go and find another enemy of those lizards just to, I guess, get some more data on that, right? But at the moment, my ranger weapon is just straight up doing more damage because it's highly upgraded. There we go, more around that 200 mark. And if I switch to the ranger rifle, it's pretty much like 360 straight off that 278. If I do it again, doing that downward attack, there we go, 280, 268. So you can see that the damage I'm getting out of my ranger weapon currently, as it is absolutely a lot more upgraded than my hunter weapons. My hunter weapons, some of them don't even have the potential upgraded just yet, 
The augments are a mess. These are just things I've just thrown on and I'm using while I level up just so that I can get all my leveling done and then end up maining Ranger and not worrying about it. So there are two things that we've discussed in this video and that is, yeah, specifically, main class weapons will give you a 10% damage bonus. It doesn't matter how they are set up in a multi-weapon, just so long as that specific weapon is your main class's weapon. Anything that is a subclass weapon is not going to get that 10% bonus, regardless of if it is the first in a weapon of a multi-weapon, it's still not going to get that 10% bonus. Example, if I was playing Ranger and I had a wand with an assault rifle attached, the assault rifle, even though it's a secondary, will get the 10% bonus, but that main weapon, the wand, will not, playing a Ranger. And then the other main point is that if you are playing a class that you're very familiar with and that's your subclass and you're using that to level up other classes as the main class, then just don't stress about having to use those classes' weapons if you are actually getting better damage out of those subclass weapons that you have been using primarily before you've been working on leveling up those other classes. Until you've actually upgraded those main class weapons and now they are actually viable to do more damage than maybe your previous set of weapons you're using as your subclasses weapons at the moment, that's the time I would start considering moving to that primary main class set of weapons. I think as long as you're playing one of those classes correctly with appropriate weapons doing appropriate damage, I think it is not a problem at all. I think you could go in like I have been playing Hunter as my main class with Ranger as subclass. I'm still doing urgent quests and I'm still out damaging some people. So just as long as you know how to use those weapons, I think it's fine. I think you're not throwing anything. But if you did actually have legitimately better main class weapons and you're crutching on weapons you're more familiar with, then maybe it's time to take some time aside and learn how to play those stronger weapons and then take them into things such as urgent quests or any other group activities like Gigantics. That's something that I've had written down for a long time because I get a lot of people asking about the 10% damage bonus in regards to subclasses and also multi-weapons. There is a little bit of confusion with it and it's not as big of a learning curve as people seem to be making out for it. Now I did put a question on my community tab the other day asking what kind of videos people would like to see or what topics people would like to see discussed as yeah at the moment the content is pretty thin. We are getting some more content this week which should give a little bit of a stimulus boost in terms of new topics to discuss but in the case of we're going to have less to talk about sooner than later I have been making note of requests people have made in this thread so I'm going to link it below if you want to check that out otherwise you can just visit my community tab and just look for the picture with the picture of my character looking at the pyramid and you can state your claim there on what you want me to talk about. Now I'm going to try to note down as many as I can. Obviously a lot are probably going to overlap and that's just going to add another tick to the relevance and how much people want me to talk about that. But I will end up getting to some of these topics over the coming weeks. And some of them I may even have as kind of an open discussion on streams in the near future. Anyway, yesterday I talked about the economy and current inflation happening. Have a look at that. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. You can go and check that out. Otherwise, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll catch you next time. Bye.